哦，环游世界吗？快约朋友来秀珍博物馆探险。So let's synchronize our watches in three, two, one. It's three fifty nine. Stay tuned for ICRT news and weather coming up next. Mark. 山水灵秀，世外桃源，下龙湾，置身世界七大奇景，赞叹惊讶洞奇观，搭乘海上顶级游船，在如画仙境中享用异国美食。荣获金子旅游奖肯定，遨游北越下龙湾，请搜寻品冠旅游。Take journeys and create memories, award-winning vacations with PK Travel. 科斯洛尔 says the mayor had been reluctant to press charges against anyone throughout his four-year political career, but being called a liar by Goodman is too serious a matter to ignore. Goodman earlier told reporters that Ke was a potential broker for Taiwanese patients wanting to receive organs in China. He also claimed that Ke created incentives for Chinese doctors to harvest live organs, and was aware that many of the organs came from Falun Gong members. Ke demanded an apology from Goodman within 24 hours, but has not received any response from the writer, who is visiting Taipei. Taichung officials are touting the success of efforts to reduce air pollution. The local environmental authorities say that the average PM 2.5 levels in the city during the first nine months of this year was the lowest since 2010. According to their data, there was an average of 19.5 micrograms of PM 2.5 per cubic meter between January and September, down from 20.5 during the same period the year before. The number of days with purple air pollution warnings indicating very unhealthy particulate levels stood at 12, six less than in 2017. Officials noted that the city is entering the time of the year with the traditionally worst air quality, but improvements are still being made. They say that they will continue to monitor air quality levels and take steps to reduce emissions when the index gets too high. And a new stretch of Gaoxiong's underground railway will be open for use later this month. The Ministry of Transportation and Communication says the over 15-kilometer-long project has been completed for almost 100 billion NT. It involves moving the Zhuoying, Gaoxiong, and Fengshan train stations underground and adding seven new stations. Officials say the change will greatly benefit traffic congestion in the city and links the subway, light rail, and high-speed rail. The city government says it is working hard to ensure that the line's November 14th opening will go smoothly. In international news, South Korea has reiterated a demand that Japan should remove its Rising Sun naval flag from a warship participating in an international fleet review in Jeju Island next week. Many South Koreans associate the symbol with Japanese military aggression during World War II and have expressed anger. Over the potential display during the October 10th to 14th event, Seoul's foreign minister says Japan should be more considerate about how South Koreans remember Japan's rule of the Korean Peninsula before the end of the war. Japanese Defense Minister said last week that the destroyer's display of the flag is mandatory under Japan's laws. 
Over in the U.S., the Department of Homeland Security says it's reviewing an inspector's report that finds many detainees at a corporate-run California immigration detention facility had nooses inside their cells, and guards weren't taking steps to stop them. AP correspondent Jackie Quinn reports. The department's inspector general issued a scathing report about the privately run detention facility in Atalanto. Inspectors found nooses made from bed sheets in 15 of 20 cells. Some say they're for privacy or clotheslines, but one man told inspectors they are for suicide, and the guards laughed about it. The report found at least seven suicide attempts and one hanging death last year. The report also said a dentist at the GEO-run facility suggested detainees use the string from their socks as dental floss, saying he couldn't keep up with the dental care needed. Jackie Quinn, Washington. And finally, Tokyo's 80-year-old Tsukiji fish market is closing on Saturday to move to a more modern facility on reclaimed industrial land in Tokyo Bay. The new 5 billion U.S. dollar facility at Toyosu will open on October 11th over the objections of many working in Tsukiji who contend the new site is contaminated, inconvenient and unsafe. Tsukiji now has more than 500 wholesalers employing several thousand people, about 40,000 and people visit each day. And now back here in Taiwan and looking at the weather across the island this afternoon, we can expect cloudy skies and showers in the north, partly cloudy skies in the center, and mostly clear skies in the east and south. Current temperatures now, Taipei 23, Taichung 25, Gaoshan 29, and Hualien 27. That was the ICRT News at 4 with me, Nancy Sun. Hi, everybody. Did I do it right? Okay. Program off? D I, what, yes. Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> hi, Hello. everybody. Uh, wow, we were a little bit over time today. I think that was because Joey started late, though. Did he? I'm pretty sure it was Joey's fault. Okay. I'm pretty sure it was Joey's fault. Anyway, hi, everybody, and welcome to the ICRT Web News Hour. It's this um, special program that we do on Tuesdays and Thursdays after the 4 p.m. news. And basically, uh, Leslie joins me in the studio, Indeed and then I we do. talk about some of the stories. Yeah. Oh, Leslie. Oh, there you are. Hi. Okay. Um, are you getting faster stream? Oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> we are getting faster stream. Hello, everybody. Wow. Good to see you guys. Oh, you did, you did a good job with the lighting this time. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Did you see um, me trying to fix it? Like, yeah. over there? Yeah, we, we've been struggling with our lighting. Um, anyway, we, uh, we do apologize to our listeners and our followers. On Tuesday last week, or on Tuesday this week, yeah. um, it was a really, really busy time for the news, uh, the news department here. And mm -hmm. then I was also suddenly ill. And you would not have wanted to see that on the camera live. Uh, so we decided to spare your eyes and yeah. uh, save save all of that, all yeah, of you from that. Poor Nancy. Not only that, but you guys are pretty busy, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was it was insane. Like, usually we have four people in the afternoon. And then that day we only had two. And then I was ill. So it was, like, pretty much Eric Gal running it by himself. Yes. So anyway. Anyway, we do appreciate your patience and we know that, you know, you guys take time to join us and we really appreciate that about you. Thank you. Okay. So there's a lot of people here today. Um, Huang Xiang Ming. Mm -hmm. Hi. Lisa Zhou. Um, Julian. Hey. Ling Xiaopi. And Liao Anting. Hi. Uh, Julian wants to know more detail about the Google. Okay. That's what we're, okay, we're going to talk about that. Um, Tim Chen. It's cute how she's away from... The microphone to breathe. That's because you don't want to hear. <gasps> I do that when I do the news. Yeah. I go. <gasps> Everybody hears that. <laughs> I try not to, but um, um, I always get out of breath. Yeah. So let's uh, jump right into it. Today we got two really okay. interesting news stories. Um, yeah. Um, well, one's a little more severe than the other. Right. Um, but before we do, oh, okay. I would like to ask everybody if you like what we do here <laughs> and uh, you think it's worth sharing, please do like and share this video. Right, um, right. Liking and sharing does go a long way very much so, and it helps 
us continue this segment. Yeah, and it also helps us to know like what kind of content you like. Feel free to write in and tell us what you want to know yeah. or what you've heard and you want to know more about. Um, so we can tailor it to your preferences mm -hmm. too. And uh, if you, I think somewhere around here you can get uh, like a little notification. There's a little bell you can click. You get a right. ling tang. Then we will always be able to see the notifications. You will be able to get the notifications. Yeah. So okay. you'll never miss us. You'll never miss us you'll, unless yeah, I'm, I'm violently I'm just going to start doing lives out of nowhere just to okay. test you guys. <laughs> no, gonna, okay? Okay. Uh, first news story. Actually, this happened yesterday morning as I was right. driving to the office. I heard Alex Lewis talking about it. Okay. Apparently an American writer mm -hmm. by the name of what's his name Ethan Gutman mm -hmm. he wrote a book and he has apparently accused Taipei Mayor Kowensa of using mm -hmm. uh Organs for organ transplants um, um, obtained from questionable mm, sources. Right. This one being the Chinese government and their human trafficking efforts out in China. Right. Okay. Let me uh, let me clarify. Uh, Ethan Gutman is an American author. He yes. is what he is called an investigative author. So he writes nonfiction and he kind of um, almost like a journalist, except what he finds he puts into a book. Mm -hmm. um, he has had a long career of doing this um, and he's written two books the first book that he wrote was also about China he's a China watcher so he okay. his his area of expertise is with China um, he wrote another book about the relationship between US businesses and China and mm -hmm. the Chinese government um, shady practices obviously and then the, his second book which is the one in question now is called it's a really long title uh, the slaughter colon mass killings organ harvesting and China's secret solution i can't read my writing secret solution to its dissident problem that's a very long title super long title so obviously shortened to the slaughter um <clears throat> and basically what he has said in his book is that throughout his research and through his investigations he's found that the chinese government is taking is taking organs harvesting mm -hmm. organs from um, people who are unwilling and most of these people are dissidents so people who speak up against the chinese government mm -hmm. um, and a lot of these people are following gong which is a a, a spiritual organization that doesn't comply yeah. with chinese government demands and regulations um so a lot of these dissidents who get harvested or who get organs harvested from them uh they're falun gong members and i think gutman's also contended in his book that um a lot of these dis dissidents are also xinjiang uh, from xinjiang like the the uyghur minority group yeah so anybody that the chinese government is not happy with or any group they're not happy with uh gutman contends that they you know round these people up and lock them up or find ways to to get them and then take their organs um and so the accusation gutman's made against ke is that ke is complicit in this big system because he kind of knows where these organs are harvested from or what the source is and he's kind of just he going still along use, with utilizes it. them yeah, yeah, so, yeah, like, exactly. say someone needs maybe what? What, what kind of transplants are kidneys? Yeah, what? Uh, organs, so, like, whatever. if someone needs a kidney, mm -hmm. um, and a doctor needs, uh, well, first the doctor needs a kidney to give to this person. Right. And um, usually you'll have donors. Right. But some, but here Gutman is saying that uh, Ke, when he was a doctor, he got these organs from what? Is he uh, saying he, from the Chinese would, government? No, he he's saying that um, Ke either uh, made this like set up an appointment. I think his words were set set an appointment, mm -hmm. or he made arrangements so that people in Taiwan, patients in Taiwan, could go to China to get these. Oh, transplants. really? Okay. Not that not that Ke specifically performed these operations, mm -hmm. but he's complicit in kind of, you know, par taking part in this system. Okay. And the reason that this is ca catching up, to, or not catching up, the reason this is coming up for Ke now is because he used to be a doctor at NTUH, yes. like you said, um, and he specializes in trauma, intensive care, and organ transplants or artificial organs. So okay. this is an issue. Um, Ke also, so... Yeah. Like, where, where did this come from? Like, where did Gutman find all this evidence? I well, mean, this this came out of left field. I was I remember mm -hmm. listening to the morning news. I was like driving. What? Like, what? Yeah. 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 Actually, this isn't the first time this issue has come up. Um, when Ke was running for Taipei mayor in 2014, mm -hmm. um, this book was published just a couple months after he announced his candidacy, I think, and then while he was campaigning and. 
what Gutman said back then was that it was a misunderstanding, and he released a, an official statement through his lawyer, and the statement said... Um, no person who, like a native speaker of English or something, would take the, the writing to mean that K took part in this. Um, and so he specifically said K is, he specifically said he did not say that K is involved. That was 2014. Yeah, so what's, why is this coming back up in 2018 now? Uh, it's coming back up now because, well, he's in Taiwan for tour, but also because uh. he said he's changed his mind. And the reason that he, Part of the reason he, that he changed his mind is, mm -hmm. at that time, uh, he felt like Ke was new to politics. Um, he had hoped that if Ke got into a position of power, then, you know, he would do something about it, or he would say something, or take a stance. Mm -hmm. um, and he also said that he came into possession of a photograph, and the photograph is one taken of Ke at a conference in China. Mm -hmm. And the conference, uh, there's also a lot of uh, other documents in the photo, but apparently it's a conference about this medical procedure that Ke is an expert of. Mm -hmm. Extra corporeal. What's that even mean? What's something this? oxygenation. Just describe I, it to me. It's this process where, like, you take the blood out of the person, or, you know, kind of like dialysis. Mm -hmm. You take the blood out of the person, and then you get rid of all of the CO2 in it, mm -hmm. and then you put it back into the person, and it's supposed to help somebody who's experienced like major trauma or cardiac arrest. Wow. That's my non-medical, non-expert okay. understanding from the diagram. So, okay. Anyway, because an expert in this process. This was the conference. And then Goofman is saying um, when he interviewed and spoke with Ke in 2014, Ke never mentioned that he went to this conference in China, never you know, talked about what he did while he was on that trip in China. And so, Ke, or so Goofman kind of feels like Ke was being dishonest. And that's where the issue comes in. He basically, a, a reporter asked Goofman, do you think Ke is a liar? And then Goofman said, yes. And so that's the wow. particular term that Ke is taking offense to now. And he's, that's what he's suing about. So you said here, Ke's lawyer said the, uh, the mayor has been reluctant to press charges against anyone mm -hmm. uh, throughout his four year political career, but being uh -huh. called a liar by Goofman is too serious a, a matter yeah, to he, ignore. Yeah. The Ke his official stance is that, you know, he's a politician, so he knows it kind of comes with the territory. Mm -hmm. But then he a lot of his platform is about running a clean government and being honest with people, uh, with with the public. And so yeah. he's taken offense. Got a to question liar. from Shu Zarong. He says, is there any way to get Americans attention on this issue? This guy's definitely disgraces his country by this false accusation against an honorable doctor. Uh, has 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 the American Goodman is known in the U.S. He's testified before Congress. Oh, he's gee. testified. You know, he's he's a known figure. Um, he's received awards, mm -hmm. uh, which is not to say you know he's not questionable, but he is known in the U.S. Um, and whether this case, you know, will be officially, I doubt this case will be officially commented on mm -hmm. by U.S. authorities until there's much more evidence. Okay. Even after that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it looks like this is getting a lawsuit filed. This is the start of the story. Okay. Um, we'll see what happens afterwards. This is going to be, I, I just remember I was driving, I was like, what is going on? It seems, yeah, Okay. salacious. Let's move on to the next topic, which is a little more, mm -hmm. a little happier, I guess. Uh -huh. Um, well, not, not uh -uh. too happy, sorry, not too happy, but. Uh, Japan's very famous Zudi fish hmm. market, Tsukiji. Tsukiji. Oh, I, I spelled it wrong here. My goodness, Tsujiki? Sorry, I man. always want to say Tsujiki. Yeah, so do I. I said Tsukiji. Tsujiki. Tsuki, tsu, what? Zucchini? Um, Zucchini. Tsukiji fish market. Yes. Sorry. Uh, anyway, so this old, old part of the history of major landmark fish market, um, it's this place in, near the harbor in Tokyo, mm -hmm. and it's that famous place where they bring the tuna, and they have that huge tuna, uh, auction. tuna auction every yeah. year. Um, and then the person, there's always. I think Is it every year? I thought it was every day. No, no, no. Uh, there's a tuna auction every day, but I think the first one on the beginning of the new year is mm -hmm. the big one oh, okay, with yeah. the big ceremony. And then the, there's one guy who always gets the biggest tuna, and he and he will um, 
buy it for like millions and millions of dollars and then he'll sell it off or he'll give away parts of it for free to, oh, to wow. some of his customers. Tuna is actually a very expensive fish. Super expensive. Super expensive fish. Like don't don't think like you can get tuna in a can and you're just like, oh, it's, it's a cheap fish. Not that kind of tuna. Yeah. Yeah, not that. It's a, it's usually blue blue fin tuna, <laughs> yeah. which is considered the So it's called zhu di, right? And it's yeah. yu si in Japan. It's very famous, very, very famous. Super Everybody famous. goes there. So the issue now is that the market is actually being officially closed. Um, mm -hmm. The Japanese government has been trying to work on this plan for years because mm -hmm. they say the market is old, it's dilapidated, unsanitary, unsafe, um, and they want to move it to a newer facility, um, which is not in the same place, but it's sort of kind of close by. Where is it? Um, it's called Toyosu and so basically, like, Tukiji Market is near Tokyo train station, the main station. It's just down a little bit further south, mm -hmm. northeast, southeast. Mm -hmm. And then so the new place is even further southeast, and it's kind of on reclaimed land built in the harbor. So it's like man, a man-made patch of land, and it used to be uh, a factory, I think. And then they, they, they tore down the gas plant to the gas factory. Mm. And then now that's the new market. Is there like a new facility there? They built up a huge, um, kind of like a warehouse. It's kind of like a big, huge, very well lit, very white warehouse. Mm -hmm. um, and that's go going to be the new market. Mm -hmm. But a lot of these people who, you know, sell their goods at the old market, they're not very happy with this change because they feel like, you know, it's part of, it's part of the, the culture. It's, it's a famous landmark. 80 and they years don't old. They don't want to move. Old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's eighty years, eighty-three years old, and they don't want to move it. Um, one of the surveys done by a group that's fighting this move says eighty percent of the people who have shops in the market, mm -hmm. the old market, say they don't want to move. Um, so what's going to happen to this market now after it's moved is that the old Tsukiji market is going to. First, it's going to be a parking lot for the twenty twenty Tokyo Olympics, oh, and wow. then I know, right? It's such a such a such an abrupt change. I parked my car in Tsukiji in the, Market. In the old Tsukiji Market. Yeah, and then afterwards, the government plans to make it a tourist center. Okay. So, um, well, the, also, what were the initial complaints? Initial complaints were that people, it was too. It's old. It's unsanitary. It's unsafe. Um, there's no reason why Toyosu won't. Well, Toyosu might become like that. I mean, like maybe in 80 years. Right. Um, the, there was there was actually an issue with Toyosu, the new market as well. Um, like a couple of years back, they, they were doing tests in the facility, and they actually found that there were toxic substances in the groundwater and the soil. From what? The groundwater. Yeah, because it used to be a gas plant, so there's going to oh, be chemicals there. Yeah. Um, and the Japanese government has spent a lot of money cleaning it up they say, and then, you know, making it safe. Okay. So it's a contested issue. <laughs> there you go. Um, I've never been. I'm I wish so, I could have. I know. I went you to were Tokyo. there. You went to Japan. I went to Tokyo, but I was pregnant at the time, and they say, like, you're not supposed to eat raw foods. Or Dennis, it's a risk. Is, Dennis is saying stuff that everybody can relate to. What? Friend went there, checked in on yeah. Facebook, posted pictures of yummy food. The thing is, you have to wake up at, like, 5 in the morning. Because there's huge lineups. It's a huge tourist. Uh, 40,000 people each day. Each, each day? Each day. Gee. If Tsukiji Ooh. fish markets move, ah. there will be hundreds of ra thousands of rats going around. That is kind of true. Um, I think it's kind of like Shiling Night Market. Not on the same scale, but Shiling Night Market, if you remember, it used to be the place with all the food. It yeah, used it to moved be... underground. Now it moved underground. Oh, it's underground now? Holy yeah. Holy cow. You, know, um, you, you know that? No, it, well, I used to visit when it was just like a whole mess of stalls, mm -hmm. and then they moved it to that big building next to the. MRT station. That was a long time ago. <laughs> okay, okay. There was a building. Shh. And then, wait, are you sure? It's the underground one? It's not underground. Okay, there's an underground one now. Yeah. Okay, just checking. Because well, the thing is, these these new updates really happen a lot in Taiwan, too. Mm -hmm, Think about mm -hmm. it, like, uh, Silly Night Market, that yeah. happens. And yeah. you also have, um, in Taipei, you have Guanghua. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guanghua, yeah. Uh, you know, that Guanghua used to be an underground thing. Now it's got its own building. Yeah. So, renovation's always new, but, like, people mm -hmm. will always fight. Especially something that as tried and true as this this long tradition. Mm -hmm. And the and the other issue is also that um, around the market there's tons of like restaurants and shops and specialty stores that have set up there because the market is there. So once you move the market, oh, what are these yeah. stores going to do? Yeah. Um, so that is an issue. And a lot of um, the people who do regularly shop there because they cater to restaurants and to you know diners in the city. Mm -hmm. So a lot of those people who make their purchases there, they they 
they say they're going to go somewhere else. Just because a new location, you have to like go over the water, a couple of bridges over the water, oh. and it's less convenient. So you know, sounds about right. We'll have to see what happens. We'll see what happens, it, but that's what's happening. It opens on October 11th. Nancy loves Japan. I love. Yeah, it's nice. Actually, I need to go to Japan. It's clean. I've never been to Japan. It's safe. Well, I've been to Japan. Twice? Oh, okay. I can't remember. Okay. But I got... <clears throat> okay, I got so uh, if you want to hear about more news and you're interested in getting like uh, more updates than just on the Tuesdays and Thursdays, you can also check out our updated ICRT website and our updated app. Let me share this. Um, basically, we've changed the way that we upload our news, so you can get more stories. Yes. There you go. What? Okay. And yep. then you go to the news. I'm <laughs> yes. sorry, I'm trying to use this. Yes. And then you have all the news. Yes. Yeah. So you can go to the news and you can get more updates more often mm -hmm. and more news. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, Nancy, now comes the time, the fun part, because yes. nobody's asking questions. There's a lot of opinions, which I like. A lot of people talking about the news. Uh -huh. um, but now it's time for the question parts. Yes. Okay, I love answering questions. I don't okay. know about you, but um, it's okay. My questions this week are today are easy. Okay. What about you? What about, well, why don't we start with you? Okay. Three questions. Let's begin. Okay. Question number one. Since Halloween is coming up, do you like haunted houses or scary rides? Like scary rides as in it's meant to be scary or like roller coaster scary? No, like ghosts and goblins too scary. Mm, or no, scary. No, no. Stuff gets too, stuff gets too real. I have a weak heart. I told you I can't handle like Game of Thrones. Yes, yes. So I, I, I'm, I'm going to have a heart attack. I'm 28. I don't want to have a heart attack. Okay. Okay. So it's just that type that's scary. But what about scary, like, thrill rides? You like roller coasters? Yeah. Oh, love them. What? Well, love that's them. what you, I thought you said you had a weak heart. Yeah, but yeah. You, you have to go in there thinking, okay, this has been built. This happens hundreds of times a day. This roller coaster operates hundreds of times Same a day. Same with the haunted houses. And well, yeah, but the, haunt, the, the roller coaster <laughs> isn't actively <laughs> trying to give me a heart attack. Yes, it's it just, is. It's not like, <laughs> Whoa, she's my. I don't chin. like jump scares. All right, let's just okay. put it my way. I don't like things okay. over there. All right, I like things where it's just like woo, but ah, I can't do that. Leslie Liao, a man of mystery. Okay, moving on. Next one. Next one. What quality do you value most in your friends? Oh, I didn't answer the question. Yes, Sorry. please answer uh, the question. I do not do haunted houses or scary rides, thrill or spirits and goblins both varieties cannot okay mm. what quality do you value most in your friends sincerity and honesty oh that's too greedy uh, it's basically the same thing it's kinda, it is honesty weird. why um you know i i think people who are honest are the are the ones ones worth trusting there's seven billion people on this planet nancy i don't yes. want to deal i don't deal with no liars as tlc said i don't want no scrubs <laughs> right. okay wise words um, the, the, the quality that I value the most is somebody who makes me comfortable. <laughs> um, I get uncomfortable um, very easily around people and mm. then it's very rare to find somebody who puts me completely at ease. So you do not consider me a friend is what you're saying. You make me totally nervous. <laughs> he's like a, he's like an unpredictable blur of like sudden movements and spasms. It's uh, uh what's that thing? Patrick. <laughs> it's like I'm a Rubik's cube, all right. Yeah, One yeah. day you might get red, and You're yellow, and green. Rubik's cube on drugs. Oh, I can't. Can I say that on Facebook? I don't know. Much? Okay, I'm gonna sue you for defamation. Question number three. Okay. Uh, is a hot dog a sandwich? Oh, oh, look, at him, look at him struggle. I just had a hot dog yesterday. Oh, oh I miss hot dogs. Okay. Uh, uh, I may um you thought more about this question than other like <laughs> deep soul searching questions that I've asked Cuz these you. are the questions that are really, you know, you got to know. You got to know. <laughs> I'm going to say a sandwich is Oh, uh, is shawarma a sandwich? Would you say shawarma is a sandwich? Yeah. Would you say guapo is a sandwich? Cuz okay, if you say no, Okay, a guapo. sandwich is a western term, so I say a guapo is not a sandwich. Okay. Oh, Dennis Ty so says sandwich. Wait, what are you saying? It is a sand. It is a sandwich. Oh, it's so hard. I I don't know. What? But, but like, if it's not a sandwich, what would it be? Yes, it's a sandwich. It's a hot dog. Yes, it's a sandwich. But like, there Liar. are there no, are any, classifications within this. Anything that go goes between buns. <laughs> so it's a, so a hamburger sandwich. Is not a sand no, a hamburger is oh. Oh no, wait. a hamburger is not Welcome. a sandwich. A hamburger is a hamburger. Then the, okay, then here when you go to a fast food restaurant and they ask yeah. you and you order, right? Yeah. They will ask you, do you want the meal or the or just the 
burger. Or just the sandwich. Sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you order if you order a sandwich, but if you're ordering the burger, they say, do you just want the burger? No, they'll ask you if you want a sandwich. No, they don't. Yes, they do. You know what? <laughs> A what? hot dog is a hot dog. A We're hamburger getting... is a hamburger. A sandwich so is a sandwich. Up about this. Okay. <laughs> okay. You you ask your darn questions. All right, Nancy. Number one. Um, you man of little morals. Who is your childhood crush? <sighs> like who is? I know your current crush is Chris Pine. Oh well, there's I forgot. But your couple. childhood I crush. Have more than one. Um, childhood crush probably Nick Carter from the Backstreet Boys. Ooh, Who didn't his, have a crush on the back? Not his boys? little brother, oh, Aaron Carter. But I like Brian. No, Aaron Carter was a little bit after my time for crushes. Oh, okay. But Brian from from the Backstreet Boys too. Okay. You can have multiple crushes. I, yeah, that's Go fine. Ahead. The first okay. one though, Aaron Carter, Nick Carter. Yeah. Sorry, I keep saying Aaron Carter. Okay. What about what, what about you? Uh, my first childhood crush would have to be. I don't know if this will. Talk, speak to a lot of our um, our speaker. Do you know who Jen, you know Jennifer Love Hewitt? Yeah. Oh yeah, big time. Who doesn't know Jennifer oh, Love Hewitt? She was a big deal. She was gorge at that time. She yes. still is beautiful. She is. Right. She's wonderful. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> Current crush, apparently. Apparently, yeah. Um, <laughs> Dennis okay. Ty says Nick Carter was lit then. Wait, do we mean lit like he was on drugs or? No, lit? no, no, no. Lit That's as in like right? he's really. It's a good oh, thing. It's yes, a good he thing. Was. He was. Sorry. Lit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> lit. No, you. So you can tell Aaron Carter was beyond. When you yeah. don't know okay, slang, you time. can't just make up definitions for I don't for know. It. I don't, I'm guessing. All okay, right. next one. Um, Context. If you could be any animal, what would you be? Uh, if I could be any animal, what would I be? Probably a cat. I, I Everybody talks about like being a bird or something mm -hmm. so you can fly, which would be nice too. But look at what well, I have cats. Look at yeah. the lives they lead. They like take naps whenever they want. <laughs> they scratch people and slap them whenever they want. Um, they get fed when they want. They get water when they want. And people well, love like, them. Well, like what if you're, 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 a, you're a feral cat? That's true. Yeah. It's a much harder life. You I would want to be a uh... domesticated cat. Okay. That's it. Okay. What about you? I'd be a grizzly bear. What? Oh, I feel like I've heard this from you before. Yeah, no, well, like bears are my favorite animal. Yes. Right, yes. but like nobody messes with bears. Nobody. Why don't you be an elephant? Nobody messes with elephants. Oh yeah, they do. Have you? Ever, yeah, elephants get messed with all the time. By people? No, not. Oh, that too. Like ivory, but yes. like lions try and hunt elephants all the time. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Elephants oh. in the savanna, dude. They 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 get in trouble, man. Bears don't. Bears they just go in the river and I they hibernate. They're... Six months out of the year, they are sleeping. That's true. That is How really excellent nice. is that? That is a nice life. Uh, All right, then. All right, Nancy. Oh, okay. So just to wrap up, ooh, a quick well, weather I, update. I got one more question, though. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. What? I thought we did three. No, we got just did two. Okay. okay. Last question really quickly. Yes, What's, yes. What, are, if you're, if you, I don't know if you're going to do Halloween this year, but if mm -hmm. you did, what would you go as? Ugh. It has to be something creative. I don't yeah. know. Mother of dragons. Oh, I, I go with Khaleesi, and then I dress the baby up as a dragon. Oh, that'd be a good one. There you go. See? Okay. Uh, join yeah. us for the ICRT Halloween party in Tiamu. Yes. It is always a fun time. We always give out stuff that people really want. Um, it's a Yeah, it's a good time. Wait, you didn't answer the question. Oh, I, you know, after years of it, I, I, I wear my Tron suit for so many years, like three or four years. Oh, yeah, but that's right. I've been hearing it so often that I'm going to have to do it. Have you ever seen the Maze Runner movies? Yeah. There's a guy in there everybody says I look like. Oh, the the Asian guy. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> They're just so, so What's I'm going to I'm just going to go as him Minho. Oh, yeah, 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 that's yeah. right. That's right. So I'm just going to I'm just going to lean into it and go yeah, as him. Yeah, he wears a button down shirt. Yes. Okay, so let's do the weather okay. update. Okay. We okay, are okay. over time. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. Um as you know, Typhoon Kong Ray, it's been downgraded from a super typhoon, but it's going to be closest to Taiwan this evening until tomorrow morning. So at this time, um if you're in the north or the east or northeastern areas, you will be inundated with heavy rainfall. Uh, Taipei has been a little bit. Um, if you're in the center in the south uh, or the west, not so much. Um, you can expect more calm weather. And then after Friday morning, things will start to calm down a little bit, but it's still going to be chilly in the mornings and evenings. All right. And that was news update. That was weather update from Nancy. <laughs> Guys, once again, thank you so much for joining us for Thursday Web News. We had to do it every Tuesday, every yeah, Thursday, as long as Nancy's healthy sorry All right. uh, bring your comments bring your questions you guys can hang out with us during three questions bring your own questions whatever mm -hmm. you guys would like but for now uh stay safe out there it's mm -hmm. raining up a whole bunch at least in taipei it is yeah and uh yeah we'll see you tuesday tuesday bye everyone bye